to do a baby update, a uh, pregnancy update. It's been a while. Um, I don't think I've done one since I was like 17 weeks. So sorry guys, it's just been super busy and it's been flying by. Um, our summer has been going um, really quick. The girls start school in three weeks and we're going on vacation before we, they go back to school. So yeah, but um, I am in a new location. This is the baby's room. Um, we, yeah, so we've painted it. Um, we're going with the jungle theme. I went with the jungle theme with um, the girls too. So yeah, I'm gonna just reuse a lot of those stuff that I had. Um, so yeah, but anyways, to the update, I am, I wrote down some questions. Um, that I thought that I would answer for you guys. That's kind of how I did it before. Um, I am 30 weeks and one day. That's crazy. I have less than 10 weeks to go, right? Yeah, less than 10 weeks to go. That's crazy to think of that. Um, so yeah, 30 weeks and one day. Nine weeks and six days left until my due date. Um, the baby is the size of a cantaloupe and this is what um, his hand looks like. So the blue is what it looks like now and the outline is what it will look like when he's born, about that size. And this is his foot. Crazy how big it's getting, oh my goodness. And he's about the size of a cantaloupe. So yeah, he's shedding his winter coat of hair and getting closer and closer to nestling into a crib. Read more on for this development. I just love this app. It's it's really awesome. Um, it tells you so much. And yeah, he can recognize your voice now. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah. Uh, the total weight that I've gained so far is 23 pounds, so I've gained quite a bit more than last time. Um, I do wear maternity clothes, and I do have a couple stretch marks, but I think they were from before. I just can notice them more now. Um, I don't think I have any new ones. Not a lot of stretch marks, so I'm really lucky I've been using my cocoa butter. Um, that really helps with me. <clears throat> um, sleeping. I have a little bit of a hard time sleeping. Um, I'll start out, out in bed um, with extra pillows. I usually have to have pillows between my legs and I sleep on my side. Um, and then most nights I do get up and I will end up sleeping on the couch, kind of like in a um, halfway sitting, halfway laying down position. Um, but yeah, I don't have much longer, so it's okay, you know, I sleep pretty good, but it does, um, I just get achy if I sleep in the same position for a long time, so, um, that's how that is. Movement, he moves a lot, especially during the day, I notice a lot, um, at work, he seems to be very active, and after I eat, he's very active, and when I lay down, um, you know, He's very active. The girls both have felt him and um, Zach has felt him, so that's really cool. Um, food, sorry. Um, food, what am I craving? Um, pretty much anything. Um, something I have really liked the past few days, it's been really humid here, um, is ice pops. I cannot get enough ice pops. <laughs> um, but other than that, pretty much uh, it's the same stuff. Uh, hamburgers and, um, you know, spinach and provolone sandwiches with horseradish. Um, just the stuff that I've been, you know, craving before. And a lot of peanut butter. I love peanut butter. So um, my belly button has popped. I don't know if you can see that. The girls think that's really funny. Um, when I was pregnant with Charlie, Samantha thought that was Charlie's nose, so that's pretty cute. But um, they think it's funny that their brother's getting so big that he made my belly button pop. Um, but yeah, we've been enjoying getting his room ready. Um, 
Zach did the paint job in here and I think it looks really nice. Obviously there's still more things we need to get but it's nice just to know that you know most of it is pretty well um, ready. I need to get a few things for the walls and stuff and a few more clothes. Um, but yeah I'm getting really excited and can't wait for him to get here. Um, and the girls are really excited and Zach's excited. Um, I did went I went for my one hour glucose test and I didn't fast before it. I had never fasted um, with the two girls and it had been about by the time they tested me, um, it had been about seven and a half hours to eight hours that I had been fasting, but I had eaten that morning. And I failed it and I was like, oh my goodness, I failed it. Like I just was not expecting that at all. So I had to fast for at least, I think it was 16 hours and I had to go and take my three hour glucose test. Um, and I went and did that. Um, that was crazy. So definitely try to fast for your one hour because Going for your three hour is not fun. Um, they come in every hour and take your blood. Um, they take your blood uh, before you drink the drink and then they take um, your blood every hour after that. And yeah, I got really sick at the beginning of that. So, um, but then by the end I felt a lot better. And um, so they rushed the results for that and I went to the doctors the next day and I passed it. So I was really happy that I passed it. I'm really glad that I don't have the diabetes. Um, I know some people get it and that stinks, I feel bad, but you know, there's things that they do to help you with that and that's great, but I am super glad that I don't have that. So that is one thing I don't have to worry about. Um, but it's just so funny how each pregnancy can be so different and yeah I don't know if it's my age or if it's because I'm having a boy this time I don't really know but um yeah so but yeah everything else looks really great they gave me the okay to go on vacation um, they said that I'm completely healthy um, to go um, so we're really excited about that and um, yeah, so we've just been really busy getting ready for school and enjoying the last few weeks of summer with our kids. Um, but yeah, um, when we get home, I'm sure things are going to go really, really fast, especially when they start school. And before you know it, he will be here. So, and we can't wait. Definitely can't wait. Um, but yeah, so I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm going to show you. Oh, also, I have... Um, we went for our 20 week scan. Um, everything looked really good. I know it's been like 10 weeks since then, but we got some really cute pictures. Um, so I don't know if you can see them, but he's a cute little guy. <laughs> so yeah, and there's his two feet. I don't know if you can see that either. It's kind of dark in here, but um, everything looks really good and he's super healthy. And yeah, and he was moving around like crazy. So, um, yeah, but so anyways, I hope this has been helpful. Um, I'll show you my belly this time. He is quite big. I feel like he's pretty low. I feel like I um, carried the girls quite a bit higher up. So yeah, I feel like he's pretty low, but my bump is definitely getting big. <laughs> So I will see you guys next time. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have any questions, um, please comment down below. Um, and yeah, so I will see you next time. Bye.